Hi folks, this is College Algebra Quiz 5. Number 1, we're given a polynomial P of X. We're asked to sketch the N behavior of the polynomial P. And the N behavior is determined by the leading term, the term with the highest power of X in it. So the N behavior is going to be 2X cubed. And since we have an odd power of X and we have a positive coefficient, this is going to start down here and end up there. Part B, we're asked to find the y-intercept of the graph of y equals p of x. So to find the y-intercept, I'm going to set the x equal to 0. The y then is p of 0. I substitute 0 in for x. And so I get 3. And so the y-intercept is 0, 3. Part C, we're asked to use Descartes' rule of signs to determine the possible number of positive real zeros. So to look for positive real zeros, I look at the coefficients of P of X. They're positive, negative, positive. And I count the variations in sign. So I changed once here, and I changed again here. So according to Descartes' rule of signs, we either have two or no positive real zeros. Okay, so it's a number of variations in sign, and then we count down by two. So it's either two or zero, positive real zeros. All right, part D, we're asked to use Descartes' rule of science to determine the possible number of negative real zeros. So our polynomial, P of X, is 2X cubed minus 4X plus 3. So I'm going to look at P of the opposite of X. So when I substitute x as the opposite of x, I'm going to get negative 2x cubed plus 4x plus 3. And so the uh, variations in sign here in p of negative x, it's negative, positive, positive, which means I have only one variation in sign. So that means that I have exactly one negative real zero. Use the rational zeros theorem to make a list of potential rational zeros. So I go back once again my original polynomial p of x. I'm looking at plus or minus factors of the constant term, in this case 3, over the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient here is 2. So it's plus or minus uh, 1 or 3 over 1 or 2. So it's plus or minus 1, a half, 3 or 3 halves. So those are the possible rational zeros. Part F, we're asked to use synthetic division to show x equals 2 as an upper bound on the real zeros of p. So I'm going to use synthetic division to start off with 2 here. And once again, my original polynomial, 2x cubed, 0x squared, minus 4x plus 3. So I go through the synthetic division. Step 1, bring down the 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus negative 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. So how do I know uh, this is an upper bound? Well, this is a positive number. And all these are positive numbers. Okay? So uh, x equals 2 is an upper bound. So that's going to do it for quiz 5.